Hi, my name is Simon borg -Olivia. Along with Bianca Matchless, we're directors of a school called Yoga Synergy. We teach traditional Hatha Yoga, but with an understanding of Western medicine and exercise-based physiotherapy. After teaching yoga for several decades, we went back to university and became physiotherapists. And about 15 years ago, we started writing a book called The Applied Anatomy and Physiology of Yoga. This book we've recently used to write a course for RMIT University called Applied Eastern Anatomy. This course is uh, a comparison and uh, analysis of the exercise forms of the East with the exercise forms of the West. So in particular we look at the Chinese and the Indian forms of yoga and martial arts and how they relate to the Western forms of exercise, conventional Western exercise. There are many similar ideas and many apparently conflicting ideas. And so this course, Applied Anatomy and Physiology um, of Yoga, that we teach at our school and the course Applied Eastern Anatomy taught at RMIT University, try and find a practical balance between one's anatomy and one's physiology. In everyday exercise, people often compromise. Physical exercise and uh, strengthening exercise, stretching exercise, often these forms of exercise are very anatomically focused. And people pay a price for anatomically based exercise in that often the heart is stressed, the internal organs become depleted. This is not so in the East. In most of the Eastern forms of, of yoga, Taoist Chinese yoga and uh, Hatha Indian yoga, uh, as well as the martial arts related to Indian Hatha yoga and Chinese Taoist yoga, uh, talk much more about internal power, internal energy, which relates to a very much more calm state in the nervous system and a much more enhanced activity of the internal organs. In the West, up until recently at least, there has been a confusion that many exercise practitioners still propagate. As an example, people often will firm their body, become very strong in their abdomen for example, at the cost of inhibiting their diaphragm. Now the diaphragm is very important in controlling the internal organs. It helps stimulate the parasympathetic nervous system, that part of your autonomic or automatic nervous system which keeps you calm. And some people will go to relaxation exercises, relaxation classes, and they'll be taught diaphragmatic breathing, but it's a separate situation to strengthening exercise. And in the East, the exercise combines the two. Stressful physical exercise done in a relaxed way. A balance between anatomy and physiology. So, with an understanding of the applied anatomy and physiology of yoga, in this video I'd like to demonstrate and explain how exercise can be done with an understanding of the yoga of China and India and the related countries and systems. A way which allows you to do stressful things in a controlled environment but remain calm and focused. A way which allows blood flow to take place in your body without the heart having to stress, without having the heart to beat fast, without having the breath to labour itself, without having to hyperventilate or over breathe. Allowing in a way for you to breathe less and eat less while being calmer, more focused and having much greater internal power a much greater ability to be focused and calm. So some of the exercises I'll be showing will be simple enough for most people to follow at least in their simple form and some of the exercises I demonstrate will be purely for demonstration purposes things that I've been practicing for up to four decades. Thank you very much.